Welcome Snack Attackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. But first I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell, all the fun YouTube stuff. Now let's get to talking about this product. Kroger has had their own brand of jerky for quite some time. It is by the name of Private Selection, and they are frequently releasing new and interesting flavors. However, although this is a new and interesting flavor, it's also a new and interesting concept in the world of jerky, and I think they might be lying. This is Private Selection's new Wagyu Beef Jerky, Cherubanera. Cherub... Cherubanero. There it is, because it's habanero. Uh, peppers balanced with hints of cherry. Now you may have noticed that this says it's Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef is a special cut of beef that is only available from uh, certain retailers in Japan. Uh, it's the highest and best cut of meat because it, the cows are treated very, very well. It is beautifully marbled, marbled. If you've never seen a piece of Wagyu beef, I'm sure the editor will be putting a piece of Wagyu beef uh, pictor pictorially. <laughs> No, just slapping a, 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 a raw meat onto uh, the camera. No, uh, I'm sure the editor will be putting a pictorial picture of what Wagyu beef looks like. It's beautifully marbled and very expensive per cut. There are some Wagyu imitators in the States, but they're not technically grade A Wagyu. Now, why I think this might be a lie. What did I just say? It's the most expensive cut of beef. But, at the local Mariano's where I first saw this Wagyu beef, and did not buy it at that moment, because I wasn't sure if it was new, it was $6.99. Whereas the jerky next to it was also $6.99. You would expect a uptick in price if the product was so much better, especially if it was more expensive. Now, this was purchased at a different Kroger for $6.99, but the other private selection non-Wagyu beef was only $4.99 there. That being said, I still just do not believe this to be Wagyu beef. Let's read on the back. Gnaw on this. Our premium jerky is made from buttery, tender Wagyu beef, marinated for 24 hours in an intensely tasty marinade packed chock full of spicy and fruity flavors of tart cherries and fire habanero. Interestingly enough, though, in the ingredients it just says beef, it does not say Wagyu beef or grade A Wagyu beef. I do believe maybe Wagyu is somewhere involved in the process as uh, maybe it's ground together, but a cheaper, smaller amount. I just don't think this is going to be true Wagyu beef. It would shock me that Kroger of all places is one of the first ones who starts selling it and that it's just like, I don't know. It smells, oh, it smells like chili. Somehow it smells a little whiskey -y. I'm getting some good uh, floral notes. It's it's quite nice. Olfactory oh, sense. Let's give this Wagyu beef a try. Three, two, one. Snack attack. Hmm. Okay. Flavor wise. It's fantastic. The habanero comes out in just heat, but not that fruity flavor. The cheeriness mixes well with the beef and creates, to me it tastes like chili. It tastes very reminiscent of chili, but it's really, really good. The, the beef, however, is buttery. It is, it melts in your mouth. I mean, it's truly something else, actually. Though I still don't entirely believe that it's Wagyu, especially just looking at the beef, you know. I don't see like points of uh, uh, like where there's a lot of fattiness where the the wagyu is perfectly marbled. It is really fantastic. I mean wagyu or not, it's delicious. And it is one of the best jerkies I've ever had. The flavor is fantastic. The texture is amazing. I normally like chewier jerky, but this is really, really good. This gets a snack attack, yes. And I believe this is the first for any sort of jerky or meat product. This is getting a 10 out of 10. That's right, a jerky has finally reached the 10 out of 10 threshold. Now maybe 
the Strive Bill Tong Sticks did, I don't remember. So if it's not the first, it gets to join the illustrious crew of 10 out of 10 meat products. This is truly amazing. If you see this at your local Kroger or Mariano's, as I have seen it at a Mariano's, I highly recommend it. $6.99 is expensive and you don't get a lot of jerky for it, but it's a flavor sensation unlike anything I've ever had. But the question we ask around here is not, is this truly Wagyu beef, or did they do what's pretty common in the meat practi practice, where you extract a bunch of fat and put it into another cut of beef to make it look like Wagyu, or is this an American Wagyu knockoff, or since it doesn't say Wagyu in the instructions, are they using Wagyu interchangeably with anything? No! We asked the question, would you buy it again? And absolutely, this is delicious and amazing! remember check Instagram, Twitter, all the fun social media stuff. And I'll see you in the next one.